Hello everyone and welcome. On today's video, we are going to show you how to connect MacThings devices with the Things.io platform. If you don't have an account, please click on Start Now. If you already have an account, go to your dashboard. Now we need to create a new product to connect with the MacThings module and MacThings gateway. So we already have a MacThings product created, but if you need to, just click on create new product. Inside the, new, the created product, please make sure you have uh, available things in order to connect with your MacSync module. If not, just click on activate more things and copy the resulting Think token. Once you have a Think token, please download our, our library from GitHub which is the things that I owe MacThings library and copy its folders to uh, the document folder for the MacSync library. Once you have copied these folders, please move to MacSync Studio. Make sure you install uh, the net framework which MacSync Studio needs to be needs to be installed. Now, replace your thing token inside the token variable and make sure you connect with the Maxing Gateway. Go to Tools, Devices, and inside, click on your actual gateway and connect. Once you have connected, you will see all your Maxing modules um, sending messages. Now it's time to configure the gateway. Make sure you use MQTT server, which should be mqtt.thethings.io and 1883 as the port. On the client ID, you should use whatever name you want and make sure you specify your Wi-Fi SSD and your Wi-Fi password if you're using a Wi-Fi connection with the MC gateway. Okay, once you have configured your gateway, connect, select the device or the Mac modu module you want to connect and connect device. Okay, now it's connected as you see here and we can build the, the program inside the module. Once it's done, move to the Things.io platform in your dashboard and let's create new things, new widgets. So in order to create new widgets, click on the plus and say um, this is the, the first widget, which should be the temperature. Select Thing Resource as the data source. Select Max Things as the product or your product and use the temperature as the resource. We want to use uh, a value in real time and the unit should be degrees. Okay, as you can see, we have here 22.62 uh, degrees, which is the actual temperature. Now let's create another widget, which should be the battery level. and use things resource again. Select max things as a product, select your thing you used before and select battery as a resource. Now we're gonna use a line type of widget in real time. And we should display 10 values in millivolts. Okay, as you can see, this is the actual battery level of the max things modules we just configured thanks for watching and stay tuned